In this video, I wanted to share how to get started with your live air purifier. And it's very simple, but I'll go over some of the controls. And I plug this unit in and obviously just press the power switch. The unit's going to come on. And over here on the flow button, you're going to see auto, quiet, low, medium, and high. And a little bit about each one. Uh, quiet, obviously, maybe in the bedroom when you're sleeping. It's high. Go back to auto. The auto setting is the setting by which the little sensor here, which will pick up whether there's odor, dust, or allergens in the room, and those will light up. Um, requires a little bit of setup and to be honest in my home you've got so much going on that usually I just leave it on medium almost all the time I'll run it on high if there's a particular problem and I just run it 24 7 and uh, one of the ones in our house has been running close to seven years continuously so it's very durable and so you might just consider leaving it on medium all the time if you do want to have it on auto and adjust itself, a couple things to know. It use, usually means that the purifier is going to be on a, a low setting most of the time, except when there's a problem. And then if it senses a problem, then it'll go up to high. But this auto sensor needs to be set or calibrated to the room. And by that I mean what you have to do is give it a clean air reference. So like what is the room really clean? So that often that'll mean either getting a lot of fresh air in, if you have fresh air outside that is, and uh, or running it for an hour or so on high, shutting it off, unplugging it, plugging it back in, and then letting the sensor, uh, you're telling the sensor this is what clean is. Anything else is gonna be something that's going on in the air. So I found more often than not, I've just told people, leave it on medium all the time. Um, unless you've got an unusual circumstance, use your auto function. The clean air monitor will just say how much uh, dust is there in the air at a particular time. Uh, and then the settings over here, are timer, one hour, two hour, eight hour, if you want to just run and have it go off. But like I said, I just run it 24 seven. The, the motor is rated for about 100,000 hours or more, so you should easily get 10, 11 years out of it if it's well maintained. And then the settings over here I'll cover on a different, uh, the little notification lights over here I'll cover on a different video, but they basically tell or suggest that it's time to clean the washable metal grid and or it's probably about time to replace the filter. But that's going to be based, when it tells you to do that, based on looking inside the machine and seeing how dirty they are as to whether they need to be either changed in, in terms of the HEPA or washed in terms of the metal grid. So it's more like a friendly reminder. And in another video, I'll show you how to reset those lights. So again, my thought is just leave it on high or on medium all the time. It's high. And at night, maybe you want to uh, turn it on quiet. If by chance you get your machine in the mail and it's not powering on, it's usually because the cover is loose and sometimes just squeezing up here um, will connect all the sensors. There's a lot of safety sensors so if a child were to open it, the power shuts off and they can't access the power. 